beyond disturbing anti-assault billboard sparks controversy after resurfacing. This is in, I've never heard of Inverness, Florida, but it's in Florida. Uh, getting drunk is never an excuse. She's Whoa. your daughter, not your date. <sighs> We're calling incest out. What? Refugehouse.com. I mean, first off, what the fuck? What the fuck? We need a billboard to tell you that incest is bad? Yeah, I don't need alcohol to molest my daughter. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, she's this hot. This is Florida. She's hot sober. <laughs> this reminds me of the end of Chinatown where the dad is explaining like how he could have raped his daughter and he was just like, at the right time in your life, you can do anything. <laughs> and then they just gloss right past it. Right. John Houston, legend. <laughs> Best picture. Incredible movie. Polanski. One of the one of the best movies of all time. This is wild. Who paid? Somebody paid for this. The anti incest. I, I'm telling you. Mark my words. Fifty years incest will be accepted. I'm you telling think so? you because it's love. <laughs> we'll be we'll be in our 80s and we're just like, I don't get these kids. Yeah, I'm telling you. <laughs> I don't get them. You wait and see. <laughs> when, in 50 years, we'll reconnect, and we'll all be fucking our cousins. Jeez. I mean, what the fuck is wrong with people? Yeah, well, we got too much time on our hands and everybody's got a voice. That's got to make you feel bad about where you live if you're driving by and you see that billboard. They don't have that shit in Manhattan. (laughs) Oh, we haven't needed it yet. (laughs) Florida, baby. We have the options. Yeah. You're on some of these fucking Inverness uh, Tinders. You you run out real quick. You're like, I guess I'm going to my family. (laughs) Right. Yeah. But her personality was great. (laughs) Damn, what else we got? 6,000 bees removed from inside a wall of Omaha couple's home. About 6,000 bees were recently removed. That's the same thing twice. Uh, 100-year-old home, Thomas and Mary Lou Gautier, told the Omaha World Herald they have been planting bee-friendly flowers inside or outside their midtown home, but they never expected the bees to move in. That's insane. This is good, though, because aren't we, like, low on bees? (laughs) This is great. Uh, is the bees, are, they keep the world bees. going around. They're putting bee-friendly flowers. It's like if you decorated your home for Halloween and then got annoyed when kids showed up. Right. Right. You, Good you, point. You set this shit up. You put candy outside in a plastic pumpkin. It's, you know, look, I'm in New York. If I lived on the ground floor, I would not put cheese outside. Yeah. You know, like Good you got to be aware of what is out there. Good Omaha. Point. I've never been. I'm going there in a couple months, or oh. a month or so. Hey, well, you might get some honey, because <laughs> uh, this is there's got to be some good to this. There's got to be a good spin. Do they get honey in the apartment, or no? You just get dead fucking bees. Are they dead? Oh, they're yeah, dead. They're just like gross dead bees. Oh, I'm picturing buzzing healthy bees. Oh, no, that's fucking gross. Uh, I'm drunk. <laughs> Dina's fucking sauce. I'm, I'm still thinking about the incest thing. Can we go back to that? Let's go back to the incest. Yeah, what do you think? I Dina? thought of a bit. Uh, oh, here we go. A bit. To say. It's really hard to find someone you relate to. You know? <laughs> oh, that's right. There we down. go. Write it down. Good drunk brain. So you know what else? That's you a can... writer. The that's other... a writer right there, folks. Matt, clip it. Hire her. We got a whole incest chunk you can clip up for this one, but... man. But this is what it's like in the writer's room. They move past something, and I'm like, I need more time. And then I'm like, can we go back to like an hour ago when we were talking right. about that other thing? I have a good joke now. I would think a Gaffigan's bit when you see a movie too late. Oh, and he's like, I yeah. want to talk about yeah. Heat now. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> You guys seen Heat? <laughs> this yeah. wine is going down like fucking sugar right now, dude. I'm sorry. Booger sugar. But uh, I will say... A good I, a good joke's a good joke. It shouldn't matter if it took you an extra hour. But also, another perk of uh, incest, you've already met the parents. <laughs> uh, uh, there we go. Now we got there a joke. Go. UK tribunal uh, rules calling a bald man is sex... So let me do that again. I've been drinking too. <laughs> UK tribunal rules calling a man bald is sexual harassment... Uh, the tribunal, uh, whose members alluded to their own experience with hair loss, also compared calling a man bald to commenting on the size of a woman's breasts. Interesting. What? This is absurd. Interesting. Well, calling I mean, a man bald is never sexual. You're calling a woman's breasts out. That's sexual. What if it's... you're attracted to bald men? Okay, fine. If you're saying, fuck me, you bald motherfucker. <laughs> In that case, it is uh, sexual. But I think for the most part, breast versus bald is not an equal Sure. They equal use the level wrong here. term. It's body shaming, if anything, not ah, sexual Ah, yes. Good call. Body shaming, exactly. Yeah. 
Sexual harassment, exactly. No one, unless you have a bald fetish, which is different. Yeah. Wow. Well, we pick and choose with the body shaming. You know, we go, hey, Chris Christie's a fat fuck, huh? And then we all go, yeah. But then if we go, Lena Dunham's a fat fuck, huh? People go, hey, hey. And you're like, well, which one is it? This is a bit I'm trying to work on. Oh, really? Body shaming. I was, I remember at my first body shaming incident, I went to the dentist and he said, I have a clinically small mouth. Is that, that's, huh. is, that's, is it, but it sounds pornographic, right? Like, it what sounds is he like measuring he's on you. my mouth for? Like, yeah. too small for what? Right. You know, it would look big next to that mouth. <laughs> yada, yada, yada. But he said he wanted to install a widening tool. Oh, that's filthy. It sounds like that like sounds like corn. Clinical dirty talk. Yeah, yeah, it does. What what widening tool? Like the thing that like pushes like the, it out? Yeah, that like it's like a retainer sort of, but like permanent. And then it like. Do you have a small know. mouth? I, don't I do. Really? Uh, trust me. Joe yeah, List is a she type is a two slow mouth. eater. Oh, okay. I'm a slow eater. No, 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 I'm not a slow eater. You're a slow eater. No? Okay. <laughs> I mean, I'm a fast eater. All right, I'm okay. fast as hell. It's like right? a married couple over yeah, here. Yeah, you're fast. I'm yeah. a fast eater. <laughs> anyway, I think your mouth looks perfectly normal. Thank you. Could you use a widening tool. <laughs> yeah. Joe List has a type two mouth. His doctor said the same thing. He's a small mouth? Yeah. Really? He said your mouth is like uh, abnormally small and uh, we can't get certain tools in there. Damn. Yeah. All right. Maybe it was a dentist, but either way, it's called a type 2 mouth. Teacher turned only fan star pregnant by student is keeping the baby. Well, zoom in on what the caption says. What does the caption say? Teacher turned only fan star. Oh, yeah. She's an attractive teacher. If this is out of Florida, I'll... Uh, I'll finish that bottle of wine. That? Really? No. That's actually a I'm horrible taking you bet. Up on that. Yeah, that's not a good... I don't know. You didn't do yourself any I, favors. I did it backwards. If this is not in Florida... I might have it on my phone, I'll eat man. my you hat. send me this. I, mean, I can read it. A lot of teachers fucking their students nowadays. A lot of female teachers. Well, that's the ones they report on the hot ones. Is that what it is? I think so, yeah. All right. This lady's a kook. And uh, by the way, kids, they don't know how good they got it. Because we all had a hot teacher growing up. And back then, you could pay four ninety nine and see her naked. Your teacher? I mean, That's come on. That's pretty crazy. Oh, that happened in my school. There you go, lady. Yeah, she was a history teacher. She had implants. And then uh, she got fired for hooking up with a student. Wow. Fascinating. No, I guess mm. I don't know. Oh, here we go. Yeah, here it is. Anonymous. She wrote, it's crazy that I'm having a baby with a former student, but the same thing could happen in any profession. That's not true, by the way. Mm. Teachers and professors. Right. You can't have a baby with a student in any profession. In her defense, it's a former student, and he was 22. Oh. So that kind of makes it okay. Yeah, that's actually... They well, didn't they sleep met when he was, they were, she was He was 22? That's the story? She met when they were when he was 16, yeah. but they... Well, how about uh, President uh, Macron from France? He's he's married to his teacher. What's How is that any different? Mm, 33-year-old. It's crazy I'm having is a Is it because she's very... Uh, she seems very uh, urbane? Is that why it's different? I mean, what's the, what's the difference here? I mean, she seems, I guess, more sophisticated maybe, but... he's an, So it was totally legal. He was an adult when they had sex? I think so. Oh. But, but the it's problem good, is that they met when he was 16, so I she's guess. in trouble... I mean, and she's an OnlyFans star. It's it's a good headline. This shit would never happen in France. That's all I'm saying. He's married to his teacher. She's like 30 years older than him. Oh wow! Yeah, is awesome. that right? Yeah. 25 maybe. Do you remember when it was like normal to count down to when like the Olsen twins would be legal? We were just talking about we that last talking. week. Really? That was a sign in New Orleans. Like, hey, counting down, two months to go. Oh my god! It was a big joke. I guess technically uh, they're they're keeping it legal. But, yeah, I mean, it's gross, but sure. it's also, like, at the same time. It's strange. It's a strange move. But that was, like, people were high five and Look at that. They're taking photos with it. It was, like, a big deal. It is also weird that the ultimate fantasy. I mean, I know it's taboo, but it's, like, isn't that the ultimate, like, porn search? Like, my hot teacher? Mm. Of course. I mean, that's, like, we all fantasized about it. Like It's a rock song. Any guy who claims he didn't jack off to a teacher of his is full of shit. Oh, yeah. We all did it. Yeah. I had a gym teacher who was, he was a hot guy. Jerked <laughs> 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 off to him. But we all did it. Oh, yeah. Of course. I mean, that's a, it's an a adult woman in the room who knows your name. 
Yeah. It's you have to do it. It's like your friend's mom. We all jerked off to a friend's mom. Yeah. Or dad. <laughs> There was you go. It, there you was see? a dad that you found attractive. I mean, I mean, no. There was, never? What? No. Was no. it the religion that? Yeah. Well, first of all, I didn't know how to masturbate until I was like 22. So really? That would not have changed. Damn, yeah. weird. I cracked that code very early. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I got this. I got this down. Oh, totally. Yeah. An expert by, you know, 12, 11, <laughs> 13. That's nice. And yeah. then you'd ask friends, like, you ever do that? And they're like, oh, my God. Now now we're off and I running. the first time I had a wet dream, I thought it was like, I was. I thought someone played a prank on me. I was like, maple syrup. What the fuck? <laughs> wow, that's some dark jizz you got there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was just the, the texture. Oh, I see. I see. But yeah, I thought I wet the bed. Yeah. For sure. 